Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Italian ebook before it's gone. Few things are more discouraging than putting in the work and effort to learn a foreign language, only to not use it for a while and forget a large part of what you studied. Once you have a good handle on a language, it's not hard to practice it so that it stays in the forefront of your mind. In this video, we'll take a look at five practical ways you can make your target language a part of your daily life so that you don't forget it. Number one, use language exchanges. The idea behind a language exchange is that you find someone who fluently speaks your target language and is also interested in learning your native language. During the exchange, you spend half the time speaking in the language you're learning and the other half in the language they're learning. This kind of exchange is a great way to practice your speaking skills and cement the material you've learned into your brain. One great thing about practicing through a language exchange is that your language partner is a fellow language learner. They will be able to sympathize with your struggles and even give you some insightful tips from their own personal experience. Most major cities will have at least one meetup or language club where you can practice languages with people from around the world. But sometimes it can be hard to find people who speak the language you're learning. If you can't find a local exchange or if there are no native speakers in your city, you can connect with native speakers through online language exchanges. There are numerous free sites that allow you to search for users based on country and language and have a text, audio, or video practice session. Number two, immerse yourself digitally. Most phones, laptops, and apps will allow you to change the language of their interface. Why not change it to your target language? This simple change may seem small, but it can actually be an effective way to reinforce your use of the language. Your language skills are like a muscle. If you use them on a regular basis, then your skill in the language will be in good shape. The more you use your language skills, the easier it will be to remember things. However, if you go for long stretches without using the language, then you might have a problem. Those linguistic muscles will start to get weak before too long, and you'll notice a drop in your language ability. Simply changing the language on your electronic devices won't equate to any heavy lifting in a foreign language, but it could be comparable to a warm-up or a quick workout. Remember that you probably use electronic devices every day. If you can use at least some of that time thinking in your target language while using them each week, that adds up to a huge amount of time and can keep your knowledge fresh. Number three, teach others a language. You don't have to be an expert in a new language to lend a hand to another language learner. Helping a beginner through the language will not only make you feel good about helping someone out, it will also help you use the language and keep your skills sharp. Remember those language exchanges we talked about? Well, what if you looked for other learners so that you could help them in the language? Don't worry if you don't feel qualified to teach the language. They're not looking to get their PhD in linguistics. Most likely, a new learner would appreciate someone who's been down the road before, someone to show them some common pitfalls and shortcuts. Have you ever been a complete newbie in something and been graciously helped by someone with more experience? Pay it forward and be that expert to someone else. Your language muscles will thank you for it. Number four, keep a journal or blog. Writing out your thoughts in a foreign language is one of the best ways to sharpen your skills. It forces you to take time to construct sentences and it will reveal your weak points very quickly. Journaling is also one of the easiest and cheapest ways to practice. All you need is a pen and a notebook. If you're not the journaling type, don't worry. You don't have to write an autobiography. Simply recounting your day or describing an experience will be enough to get your language juices flowing. The entries can be long, but they don't have to be. This exercise is flexible and can take any shape you want. Try writing short daily entries. You can even post them online for native speakers to correct. This way, you can hold yourself accountable and write regularly. There are several free sites that allow you to post an entry and have it reviewed by native speakers. Number five, entertain yourself in the language. Books, movies, YouTube videos, language learning websites, music, the list goes on. There's an endless supply of media out there, so you're likely to find something that interests you in your target language. Whether you love sports, rock music, or sewing, you're sure to find something to entertain you in your target language. Learning a language is hard, but remembering it doesn't have to be. These ideas are here to help jumpstart your brain. These aren't the only ways to practice your target language either. Do your best to use the language on a daily basis and make it a part of your everyday life. Remember, all languages aren't just spoken, they're lived. 
And for even more ways to use your target language every day, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Do you feel like you don't speak enough Italian? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Marzo. March. Marzo. Marzo. March. Il 17 marzo. On March 17th. Il 17 marzo. Aprile. April. Aprile. Aprile. April. Le piogge d'aprile portano il biancospino. April showers bring May flowers. Le piogge d'aprile portano il biancospino. Maggio. May. Maggio. Maggio. May. Ora è aprile, quindi il mese prossimo sarà maggio. It is now April, so next month will be May. Ora è aprile, quindi il mese prossimo sarà maggio. Giugno. June. Giugno. Giugno. June. Il matrimonio in giugno. June wedding. Il matrimonio in giugno. Luglio. July. Luglio. Luglio. July. Luglio è uno dei sette mesi con 31 giorni. July is one of seven months with 31 days. Luglio è uno dei sette mesi con 31 giorni. Agosto. August. Agosto. Agosto. August. Un caldo giorno d'agosto. A hot August day. Un caldo giorno d'agosto. Settembre. September. Settembre. Settembre. September. Il primo settembre. September first. Il primo settembre. Ottobre. October. Ottobre. Ottobre. October. Il tredici ottobre. On October 13. Il tredici ottobre. Novembre. November. Novembre. 
novembre. November. Il 24 novembre. On November 24th. Il 24 novembre. Dicembre. December. Dicembre. Dicembre. December. Il 25 dicembre. On December 25th. Il 25 dicembre. Marzo. March. Aprile. April. Maggio. May. Giugno. June. Luglio. July. Agosto. August. Settembre. September. Ottobre. October. Novembre. November. Dicembre. December. Now that you're finished with this lesson, want to know if your Italian skills have improved? Take our free assessment test to assess your language. Discover your true learning level and get free access to a language course for your specific level. An easy to follow course where you learn the real language, the everyday conversations that you'll soon have and absorb these practical conversations just by listening along with quick audio and video lessons from real teachers. So click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed. Do you feel like you don't speak enough Italian? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Oggi. Today. Oggi. Oggi. Today. Oggi alle 6.15. Today at 6.15. Oggi alle 6 e 15. Ieri. Yesterday. Ieri. Ieri. Yesterday. Ieri pomeriggio. Yesterday afternoon. Ieri pomeriggio. Domani. Tomorrow. Domani. Domani. Tomorrow. A domani. See you tomorrow. A. Domani. Settimana. Week. Settimana. Settimana. Week. Ci sono sette giorni in una settimana. There are seven days in a week. Ci sono sette giorni in una settimana anno year anno anno year un anno one year un anno. Secondo. 
second, secondo, secondo, second, per dieci secondi, for ten seconds, per dieci secondi, minuto, minute, minuto, minuto, minute, tre minuti, three minutes, tre minuti, ora, hour, ora, ora, hour, un'ora, one hour, un'ora, orologio, clock, orologio, orologio, clock, L'orologio segna 8 minuti alle 12. The clock reads 8 minutes to 12. L'orologio segna 8 minuti alle 12. In punto. O clock. In punto. In punto. O'clock. Avremo una riunione alle tre in punto. We will have a meeting at three o'clock. Avremo una riunione alle tre in Punto. Oggi. Today. Ieri. Yesterday. Domani. Tomorrow. Settimana. Week. Anno. Yeah. Secondo. Second. Minuto. Minute. Ora. Hour. Orologio. Clock. In punto. O clock. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Do you feel like you don't speak enough Italian? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Calendario. Calendar. Calendario. Calendario. Calendar. Calendario giornaliero. Day calendar. Calendario giornaliero. Lunedì. Monday. Lunedì. 
lunedì. Monday. La settimana lavorativa inizia di lunedì. The work week starts on Monday. La settimana lavorativa inizia di lunedì. Martedì. Tuesday. Martedì. Martedì. Tuesday. Martedì, primo gennaio. Tuesday, January 1st. Martedì, primo gennaio. Mercoledì. Wednesday. Mercoledì. Mercoledì. Wednesday. Mercoledì 18. Wednesday, the 18th. Mercoledì 18. Giovedì. Thursday. Giovedì. Giovedì. Thursday. Di giovedì. On Thursday. Di giovedì. Venerdì. Friday. Venerdì. Venerdì. Friday. Venerdì 8 dicembre. Friday, December 8. Venerdì 8 dicembre. Sabato. Saturday. Sabato. Sabato. Saturday. Sabato sera. Saturday night. Sabato sera. Domenica. Sunday. Domenica. Domenica. Sunday. Domenica 17. Sunday, the 17th. Domenica 17. Fare. Do. Fare. Fare. Do. Fare i compiti. Do homework. Fare i compiti. Andare. Go. Andare. Andare. Go. Andare dritto. Go straight ahead. Andare dritto. Calendario. Calendar. Lunedì. Monday. Martedì. Tuesday. Mercoledì. Wednesday. Giovedì. Thursday. Venerdì. 
Friday サーバト Saturday ドメニカ Sunday ファーレ Do アンダーレ Go Now that you're finished with this lesson, want to know if your Italian skills have improved? Take our free assessment test to assess your language. Discover your true learning level and get free access to a language course for your specific level. An easy to follow course where you learn the real language, the everyday conversations that you'll soon have, and absorb these practical conversations just by listening along with quick audio and video lessons from real teachers. So click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed. Do you feel like you don't speak enough Italian? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Ridere. Laugh. Ridere. Ridere. Laugh. Ridere ha una barzelletta. Laugh è a joke. Ridere ha una barzelletta. Delizioso. Delicious. Delizioso. Delizioso. Delicious. Sembra delizioso. It looks delicious. Sembra delizioso. Acqua. Water. Acqua. Acqua. Water. Bere acqua. Drink water. Bere acqua. Te. Ti. Te. Te. Ti. Bere te. Drink tea. Bere te. Caffè. Coffee. Caffè. Caffè. Coffee. Tazza di caffè. Cup of coffee. Tazza di caffè. Birra. Bia. Birra. Birra. Bia. Lattina di birra. Can of beer. Lattina di birra. Vino. Wine. Vino. Vino. Wine. Vino rosso. Red wine. Vino rosso. Manzo. Beef. Manzo. Manzo. Beef. Bistecca di manzo. Beef stick. Bistecca di manzo. Pollo. Chicken. 
pollo. Pollo. Chicken. Pollo arrosto. Roast chicken. Pollo arrosto. Maiale. Pork. Maiale. Maiale. Pork. Costolette di maiale. Pork chops. Costolette di maiale. Ridere. Laugh. Delizioso. Delicious. Acqua. Water. Te. Tea. Caffè. Coffee. Birra. Beer. Vino. Wine. Manzo, beef, pollo, chicken, maiale, pork. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Italian. Hi everybody, my name is Felice. Welcome to the 800 core Italian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Italian. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So, after you have learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at italianpod11.com. Click the link in the description to access more example synthesis, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Italian. Ok, let's get started. First is... Buongiorno. Hello. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Hello. Buongiorno, mi chiamo Paola Rossi. Hello, my name is Paola Rossi. Buongiorno, mi chiamo Paola Rossi. Mi scusi. Excuse me. Mi scusi. Mi scusi. Excuse me. Mi scusi, questo dovrebbe essere il mio posto. Excuse me, this is supposed to be my seat. Mi scusi, questo dovrebbe essere il mio posto. Mi dispiace. I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. Mi dispiace. I'm sorry. Mi dispiace, ma non posso venire. I'm sorry, but I can't come. Mi dispiace, ma non posso venire. Buonanotte. Good night. Buonanotte. 
Buona notte. Good night. Buona notte e sogni d'oro. Good night and sweet dreams. Buona notte e sogni d'oro. Piacere di conoscerti. Nice to meet you. Piacere di conoscerti. Piacere di conoscerti. Nice to meet you. Piacere di conoscerti. Mi chiamo John. Nice to meet you. My name is John. Piacere di conoscerti. Mi chiamo John. Come stai? How are you? Come stai? Come stai? How are you? Ciao Mary, come stai? Hi Mary, how are you doing? Ciao Mary, come stai? Sì. Yes. Sì. Sì. Yes. Sì, è buonissimo. Yes, it's very good. Sì, è buonissimo. No. 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 No, non ho domande. No, I don't have any questions. No, non ho domande. Grazie. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. Thank you. Grazie dell'informazione. Thank you for the information. Grazie dell'informazione. Sono. Am. Sono. Sono. Am. Sono Sara. Piacere. I'm Sara. Nice to meet you. Sono Sara. Piacere. Arrivederci. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Torni presto. Goodbye. Come back soon. Arrivederci. Torni presto. Cattivo. Bad. Cattivo. Cattivo. Bad. Quell'uomo è cattivo e litiga con tutti. That man is bad and ergus with everyone. Quell'uomo è cattivo e litiga con tutti. Buono. Good. Buono. Buono. Good. Maria è buona e gentile con tutti. Maria is good and kind to everyone. Maria è buona e 
gentile, con tutti. Bella, pretty. Bella, bella, pretty. La sposa è molto bella. The bride is very pretty. La sposa è molto bella. Brutto. Agri. Brutto. Brutto. Agri. Brutta faccia. Agri face. Brutta faccia. Facile. Easy. Facile. Facile. Easy. È più facile di quello che sembra. It's easier than it seems. È più facile di quello che sembra. Difficile. Difficult. Difficile. Difficile. Difficult. L'inglese è difficile. English is difficult. L'inglese è difficile. Vicino. Near. Vicino. Vicino. Near. Vivo vicino all'università. I live near the university. Vivo vicino all'università. Lontano. Far. Lontano. Lontano. Far. Vivo lontano dall'università. I live far from the university. Vivo lontano dall'università. Piccolo. Small. Piccolo. Piccolo. Small. Molto piccolo. Very small. Molto piccolo. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Italian. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at italianpod101.com. See you next time! A presto! Sono Felice Angelini, piacere! Sono di Roma. In the next minute, you'll be challenged to introduce yourself, including where you're from. First, let's look at some examples. Piacere, sono Paolo Parisi. Piacere, sono Mark Lee. Piacere, sono Karen Lee. Let's practice. Incontri Felice Angelini per la prima volta. Presentati. Buongiorno, sono Felice Angelini. Piacere.
Now share where you're from. Here are some examples. Sono di New York. Sono di Bologna. Sono di Seattle. Are you ready? Di dov'è? How did you do? You can consider this practice exercise successful if you were able to answer in the given time, completed a pattern with your name and hometown, and used the sentence pattern featured in this example. Piacere. Sono Mark Lee. Sono di New York. Try this practice exercise again if you want to improve your fluency or skill in any of these areas. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you will review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you will review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Marco, sai che giorno è oggi? Il 6 gennaio, perché? Oggi è il giorno dell'Epifania, che tutte le feste si porta via. Hai ragione, quindi la Befana ha portato delle caramelle. Per te ha portato solo carbone. Guarda! Ma è carbone dolce! Buono! Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Gennaio. January. Gennaio. Gennaio. And the next word is? Epifania. Epiphany. E-pi-fa-ni-a. Epifania. And the next word is? Festa. Feast. Holiday. Party. Festa. Festa. And the next word is? Quindi. So, therefore. Quindi. Quindi. And the next word is? Giorno. Day. Giorno. Giorno. And today's last word is? Carbone. Coal. Charcoal. Carbon. Carbone. Carbone. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Marco, sai che giorno è oggi? Il 6 gennaio, perché? Oggi è il giorno dell'Epifania, che tutte le feste si porta via. Hai ragione, quindi la Befana ha portato delle caramelle. Per te ha portato solo carbone, guarda. Ma è carbone dolce, buono! This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Che ore sono? È mezzogiorno e venti. 
Se non fosse andata in bagno saremmo arrivati in tempo. Non è stato per colpa della sosta, ma dell'incidente che ha rallentato il traffico. Sì, hai ragione, scusami. Ora entriamo. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Mezzogiorno. Noon. Midday. Mezzo giorno. Mezzogiorno. And the next word is? Colpa. Fault. Blame. Guilt. Sin. Colpa. Colpa. And the next word is? Sosta. Stop. Break. Stop off. Stop over. Sosta. Sosta. And the next word is? Incidente. Accident. Incident. Incidente. Incidente. Next word is? Rallentare. To slow down. Decelerate. Rallentare. Rallentare. And lastly? Avere ragione. To be right. Avere ragione. Avere ragione. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Che ore sono? È mezzogiorno e venti. Se non fosse andata in bagno saremmo arrivati in tempo. Non è stato per colpa della sosta, ma dell'incidente che ha rallentato il traffico. Sì, hai ragione, scusami. Ora entriamo. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what kind of movies do you like? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about movies and ask other people about their favorite kinds of movies. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real-life situations, click the link in the description to download your Talking About Movies and TV PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono gli horror. Once more with the English translation. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? What kind of movies do you like? Mi piacciono gli horror. I like horror. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What kind of movies do you like? That's... Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Listen to it again. Che tipo di film Ti piacciono? Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Mi piacciono gli i le... Type of movie. This Italian sentence literally translates as I like the type of movie. But it means I like type of movie. For example... I like horror. Mi piacciono gli horror. Mi piacciono gli horror. Here are a few more kinds of movies you can use with the same pattern to talk about movies. Horror. 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 Comedy. Commedie. Commedie. Fantasy movies. Film fantastici. Film fantastici. Romance. Storie d'amore. Storie d'amore.
Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono le commedie. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono i film fantastici. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono le storie d'amore. Ok, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what kind of movies do you like? Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Imagine you like comedies. Do you remember how to say comedy? Commedie. Commedie. Say, I like comedies. Mi piacciono le commedie. Now, answer the question saying that you like comedies. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono le commedie. Now imagine that you like fantasy movies. Do you remember how to say fantasy? Film fantastici. Film fantastici. Say, I like fantasy movies. Mi piacciono i film fantastici. Now, answer the question saying you like fantasy movies. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono i film fantastici. Now imagine you like romantic movies. Do you remember how to say romantic? Storie d'amore. Storie d'amore. Say, I like romance. Mi piacciono le storie d'amore. Now answer the question saying you like romantic movies. Che tipo di film ti piacciono? Mi piacciono le storie d'amore. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about movies. You are now able to talk about types of movies like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us what your favorite kind of movie is. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Italian ebook before it's gone.